Hello everybody, I'm Virtual SG, and I'm going to talk about the resolution settings in Clip Studio Paint. Before we get started though, let's address your monitor resolution and an important setting in Clip Studio Paint related to that. It's very simple and kind of interesting. And it's here under File, Preferences, Canvas. You see I have Canvas selected. Now in here we go to Display Resolution and we click Settings, which brings up the settings of display resolution. And what you want to do here is simply use a ruler to set this virtual ruler on the screen. Now keep in mind you've got to use the centimeter side of the ruler. I don't know why you can't change the virtual ruler to inches, but you can't, so you just use centimeters. And this sort of configures Clip Studio Paint to your monitor, and this will allow Clip Studio Paint to display DPI information on your monitor with a degree of accuracy. DPI being dots per inch. Now there are two confusing things here. The first is why are we using centimeters to determine dots per inch? And I've tried to think of a way to put this in words, but I really don't get it myself. I know Clip Studio Paint can convert centimeters to inches and vice versa. That's a no-brainer for the software, so somehow this makes perfect sense to the developers. But ultimately, the answer to that question is not important. If you set this virtual ruler to match physical centimeters, you've calibrated your display resolution. And that's what's important. The second thing you might be confused by is just why is this setting important? The fact is, this setting may not be of any use to you. This might not be important to you at all. But since you're watching this video, it means you're interested in understanding the resolution settings in Clip Studio Paint, and this is part of that. And so now I'm going to show you just what this accomplishes. We get out of Preferences and head over to File, New, and I'll choose the yellow box for the simplest canvas settings, and this here, this unit option, this is your best friend. And we'll talk more about him later, but for now I'm going to set him for inches, and now I'm going to make my canvas width 2, and the height will be 3, and that is inches. Remember, this unit, that's the most important thing. And here are the resolution settings. Notice they are DPI settings. We're going to go with 600, which is a fine resolution for comic books and drawings and so on. Actually, I'm going to use this button here and swap the width and height just because I want this uh, canvas to be horizontal like this. Okay, so I'll hit enter, and what have we here? Well, we've got a canvas, and let me tell you about this canvas. If I go to my navigator window and click this icon, this is the 100% pixel size icon. When I click this, it sizes the canvas to its true size, and that red box indicates my drawing area, my workspace. And you can see that the canvas is outside of the workspace. It doesn't fit inside the workspace when it's 100%. In other words, a three by two inch canvas at 600 DPI is pretty big. Now if you're wondering how a 3 inch canvas can be too big for my workspace, we're going to talk more about that later, but right now let's just get back to the point of this ruler thing. But first I've got to take another detour to tell you that these two icons fit the canvas to the workspace. Now first of all, neither of them use the word workspace, but trust me, that's what they do. And second, I haven't been able to figure out what the difference is between them, from a practical standpoint anyway. But you can see the canvas is now inside the workspace, which means it's not at its true size, but a zoomed out version so I can see the whole thing. And if I'm driving you crazy right now, it's probably because you know how to use the navigator window and you just want me to get to the point. So okay, here's the point. Now I'm going to grab my pencil tool and you may notice that you don't have any icons that look like this and that's because I customized some of my tool icons, but that is for another video as well. And I am going to draw on my canvas this round thing this eyeballic looking thing. This is just for reference. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, I'm gonna to go to view, print size. We are now about to view this canvas at its true print size, which is three inches by two inches. And the important thing is that view print size has nothing to do with these options over here. These are for viewing your canvas as it exists inside your computer. This is for getting an idea of what your work will look like when it's printed at its true size. And if you haven't guessed, this is in fact three inches by two inches because we calibrated Clip Studio Paint to our monitor with that virtual ruler. And now that I've got that out of the way, 
The next video will be about choosing your resolution settings and why the unit drop down box is your new best friend.